Do you want to make a specific person afraid of losing you? Currently, the ball might not be in your court, but worry no more because, after watching this video, you will become an irresistible person. Your specific person will understand your importance, and you will become a highly attractive person. Have you ever heard of Marilyn Monroe? Yes, that American actress and model who stole the hearts of millions of people. She was considered a sex symbol, and was one of the most famous celebrities of her time. Even today, people find her super attractive. But why am I telling you all of this? Well, there was a picture that was circulating on social media. I saw it, and I was stunned. After reading the contents of it, I became sure that it would help you tremendously. So, in the picture, it was a story, an experience, of Amy Green, who was the wife of Marilyn Monroe's personal photographer, Milton Green. Once, she was accompanying Marilyn in New York City. They were both just strolling in the city on a lovely day. Marilyn loved New York City because people on the streets didn't bother her there like they did in Hollywood. She was wearing very simple clothes, like everyday people. So, both of them were walking and enjoying themselves, and they walked down the Broadway. Now Marilyn turned and asked her, Do you want to see me become her? Like you, Amy was clueless, she didn't understand what Marilyn was saying. But still, Amy said, yes. Then something happened that Amy never forgot in her life. At that moment, something happened. Marilyn did something. It was like she switched on something within herself. It was like magic. All of a sudden, the cars that were passing by slowed down. People strolling on the street stopped and started staring at Marilyn, and people were turning their heads. People started recognizing that it was Marilyn Monroe. A few seconds ago, they both were like everyday people, no one cared, and they were going about their business. But the moment Marlion did something within her, everyone on the street started noticing them. It was as if Marilyn had removed some kind of mask. Well, I found this story amazing, and I will tell you why. Marilyn Monroe's original name was Norma Jean. She was a person who had a foster family. It was not like she was born with a silver spoon. She became famous, and she became a person that the majority of men wanted. She became a highly attractive and irresistible person. But how did she do it? Well, she was a master at manifesting. She knew something that I have told you about in many of my videos. In her book My Story, she talked about it. She wrote, I daydreamed chiefly about beauty. I dreamed of myself becoming so beautiful that people would turn to look at me when I pass. After reading this, you will recognize that she was great at visualization. She was daydreaming herself as a beautiful person. She would imagine herself as an irresistible person, with people admiring her beauty. She got what she wished for. She also wrote, I dreamed of myself walking proudly in beautiful clothes, being admired by everyone, and overhearing words of praise. I made up the praises and repeated them aloud as if someone else were saying them. She even used an imaginal act that is often heard as a telephone technique in Neville Goddard's community. Now, she did something extraordinary here. She would feel as if people were admiring her. She was feeling proud, and she made some praises that people would say to her. In her imagination, she heard them. She heard people telling her how beautiful she is. This is how she manifested fame. This is how she became a very famous celebrity. And this is how she became irresistible. Men wanted her badly, and from being a foster child, she became this celebrity that the world knows. Some of you will say that Marilyn used the techniques of visualization and affirmation and then she became popular. Well, you are correct, but beneath it is something that you need to understand. If this one thing is not changing within, then you are not making it happen, and it will change with repeated efforts. So, what is it? Well, it is about changing the self-image. It was like Norma Jean was playing the character of Marilyn Monroe. It was like she was having these two identities, one where she was Norma Jean, who was a common person, like when she was walking on the streets of New York City. Then there was another character, and that was Marilyn Monora who was a very attractive woman who was irresistibly hot and was considered a sex symbol. When she was walking on the streets, she changed something within her. It was very subtle, like changing a channel, and she started playing the character of Marilyn. If you have been with me until now, then you will now understand why this story was shared with you. Well, like Marilyn, you too have some characters that you are playing. Currently, you might be in a state that is low, where you feel anxious or sad, and you are playing the character of that person. You choose this character by yourself. Your actions are decided by this character. The way you perceive the world is also determined by this character of yours, and your thoughts also appear because of this character. Have you ever wondered what a famous person would be thinking? Why do such thoughts never enter your mind? Why do you only have certain thoughts? You never thought about it, right? Well, this is where the fun begins. You are playing a character, and your actions, feelings, and thoughts are based on this character. The beauty of it is that you can play any character that you want. Either you can play the character of a loser or a winner. You can also play the character of a common person or, like Marilyn, an irresistible person. 
Everything depends on our attitude toward ourselves. That which we will not affirm as true of ourselves will not develop in our lives. If Norma Jean can transform into Marilyn in a matter of seconds by getting into the state of consciousness of Marilyn and thinking from that state, then you can too. I am not saying you should become Marilyn, but I am saying you should change the character that you are playing now. If that character is not giving you sufficient results, then why do you have to play it? If you are still playing it and not changing it, then it only tells me one thing about yourself, and that is that you are lazy. No external efforts are required. It is all done in the mind. It is all done in the imagination. It is all about thinking from a certain state of consciousness. It doesn't matter what desires you have. It is all about thinking from the state of having them. Want to become famous? Well, think of the state of being famous. A celebrity or famous person always thinks that they miss their old life, where they could go anywhere they wanted in their pajamas. They can go alone without any security. They can even put a finger in their nose and no one would care. A famous person would pray to remain famous and would be conscious of their image. Are you understanding what thinking from the perspective of a celebrity is? In the same manner, if you want to get into a relationship, then think like someone who is already in a relationship. Self-image is the key to everything. The way you look at yourself is the way people look at you. Building a strong self-image is the key to your life. You can hear people calling it self-concept. The words may appear different, but both are the same. Right now, you are playing a character, and that character determines your life. It manifests things in your reality. This character is your set of beliefs that you identify yourself with. It is a state of consciousness. Neville Goddard said, There is no coal of character so dead that it will not glow and flame if but slightly turn. Don't blame, only resolve. So, resolve it by changing the way you view yourself. Like Marilyn, you can visualize yourself as the person you want to be. You can even hear people telling you the words you want to hear. Just start doing it. No one can do it for you. Either you can spend your time scrolling social media mindlessly, or you can spend your time imagining the state of consciousness that you want to experience in the future. Everything you want is out there waiting for you to ask. Everything you want also wants you. But you have to take action to get it. First the action is internal. The action is building a new identity. And the physical actions would come on their own. After viewing yourself differently in your mind's eye, you will start perceiving the world differently. Different thoughts would now pop up in your mind you would now know what actions should be taken by you. Suddenly you would become aware of a new way of approaching things in your life. Thoughts become things. If you see it in your mind, you will hold it in your hand. You don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. The first step is your imaginal act. The first step is a scene that implies that your wish has been granted. Each step is a repetition of this scene, and you will reach there. Also, I made an affirmation tape that would definitely help you view yourself differently. It will help you transform your self-image, and you just have to listen to it for five minutes. You have to surrender yourself to the voice, and you will see the magic. Just click on the first video that appears at the end of the screen to change your life.